Welcome to another great episode of Better Data, Better Results. And today, I feel like it is a great day to talk about pumps. Specifically today, what we're going to talk about is pump control. Now, what is pump control? Well, first of all, we just wrote a great blog on pump control, what it is, how to get started. I recommend you check that out. But in principle, what pump control is, is it's telling a pump how fast we want it to move liquid using a pump controller. And so today, specifically, what I'm going to show you is how to remotely control a pump using a WellAware Connect pump controller. So let's get started. So what I'm holding here is the WellAware Connect. It's an industrial sensor transmitter, a wireless networking gateway, a 4G LTE modem, and a pump controller. You guessed it. All packaged into one box. Now, this thing is certified for operation in class one div two environments. So it's great for applications in oil and gas, water, wastewater, anything like that where safety is a top concern. So what I'm gonna show you today with this guy is a desktop demo using a little simulation of, of what a pump could look like. And I'm gonna show you how you can remotely control any kind of pump with an electric motor using the WellAware Connect and WellAware software platform. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, when it comes to pumps with electric motors, which is what we're going to talk about today, there are a few categories you want to cover. And the first is the type of current they use. So some pumps use direct current or DC, and other pumps use alternating current or AC. And we're going to talk about both. And now these pumps, whether it's DC or AC, they can range all the way from 12 volts DC, which would be your small pumps, chemical injection pumps, metering pumps, dosage pumps, things like that all the way up to your big boys, the 480 volt, three phase alternating current pumps. These are transfer pumps, simulation pumps, things like that. Now, when it comes to pumps, there's another category we need to talk about, which is single speed motors versus variable speed motors or variable frequency motors, variable frequency drives. You'll hear them called VSD, VFD. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But the principle for control is actually very different for single speed and variable speed drives. So let's talk about single speed pumps first. They're a little bit simpler, a little bit easier to understand. The basic principle is that a single speed pump has a motor that runs at one speed. And what that means is that the output of the pump is static based on the configuration of that pump. Now with a single speed pump, the way that we modulate that output is by controlling the on time and the off time. So we turn that motor on and off, and that is called a duty cycle. Now what a duty cycle is, is essentially the percentage of time that a pump is on versus off that allows us to hit that desired output. So let's look at an example here. So let's say that I have a pump that does 100 gallons per day when the motor is on. Now how would I get it to pump, say, 50 gallons per day? Well, 50 gallons per day is 50% of the maximum output of the pump. So I would run it at a 50% duty cycle. So let's say I turn it on for five seconds and off for five seconds to get that duty cycle. Now I could leave it on for 30 seconds and off for 30 seconds. But the idea is that I'm establishing that duty cycle to hit that pump output over a period of time. Similarly, if I wanted the output of that pump to be 25 gallons per day, I'd run it at a 25% duty cycle. So the way that we control a single speed pump is using a solid state relay. And let's talk about a DC or a direct current pump, because for that, I'm going to be using a DC solid state relay. Now for an AC pump, I would use an AC solid state relay. They're a little bit different in the way that they're built, but the principle is the same. Now I am going to open up the WellAware Connect and give you a look at the inside, because what we have installed in here, this is our modular IO. And what you see here is actually a DC solid state relay. We've got a fuse, some inputs and outputs. And what this does is actually manage that pump. It turns it on, it turns it off using that solid state relay. Now, the nice thing about the WellAware Connect is this is a modular IO package. So I could throw an AC solid state relay in here. I could throw a variable frequency drive in here. There's a lot that we can do with this controller just by swapping out a little bit of IO. So I want to show you how we can use the WellAware Connect along with the WellAware Field app and the WellAware Web app to remotely control a pump. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to do a little simulation here. So what you'll see is on the bottom of the Connect, this is a 12 volt DC LED. And so the way that we control a single speed pump is by turning it on and off, sending a 12 volt DC signal to the motor. 
And so essentially what this LED will do is simulate sending that 12 volt DC signal to the motor to turn it on and then obviously to turn it off. So let's see how that works. So I'm using the WellAware Field app. Now what this is, this is a wireless Bluetooth mobile app that allows us to configure and interact with the WellAware Connect and access its applications. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this device and connect to it. And then I can actually see all of the applications that are loaded onto this Connect. And so I can see that I've got a few applications here. I've got wireless connectivity, I've got network. Um, I've got a tank app, so I can actually monitor tank levels with this. We're not gonna talk about that today. But then I can see this pump app. So I'm gonna click on that pump app and you can see I've got a lot here. This is the pump application screen. So what I'm able to do here is actually manage my pump and control it locally using Bluetooth wirelessly. Um, so a couple of things I'll, I'll point out. You can see here that this pump has a maximum pump output of about 50 gallons per day, give or take. The cycle time is set to 10 seconds. So what we would expect is as I change the set point on this pump, we'll see the LED respond to set that duty cycle. So let's do some easy math here. Um, I'm gonna set the set point to 25 gallons per day. That's about half of what the max pump output is. So we could expect a duty cycle of 50%. So we'll come in here, we'll change the set point. We're gonna set it to 25 gallons per day. I click submit and now look at that. You see the LED come on, it's gonna come on for five seconds and off for five seconds. Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five. So one of the nice things about the WellAware Field app is I've got some things to be able to control the pump really quickly. So I can stop the pump. You see that that LED turns off. I can resume it on its normal set point. Now I can actually also purge the line. So sometimes that line, it fills with air. We need to purge it when you just need to run the pump full bore. So if I start a purge, you're gonna see that that LED comes on and it stays on as I purge the line. Now, as soon as I stop the purge, it's gonna go back to its normal operating principle. Five seconds on, five seconds off. Now I can change the cycle time in here, come in and I'll change it to five seconds. So you'll actually see now, it'll stay on for two and a half and then off for two and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the pump, but you get the idea. Now, the WellAware Field app is great. It's a mobile HMI for your pump. But what if I wanted to control the pump remotely? Say if I was a mile away, or maybe even across the country, or across the world. Shoot, maybe I'm sitting on the beach, sipping a margarita, I wanna control a pump. How would I do that? That's where the WellAware web app comes in. So let's talk about that. Now, remember, the WellAware Connect has a 4G LTE modem in it, which means we can connect to it through that cellular connection. The other thing I wanna talk about is security, right? So nobody wants their pump connected to the internet which is why that every WellAware device is connected through our private APN and the traffic is encrypted. So not only can nobody see this device on the public internet, even if they could, they'd have no idea what kind of data was going across the network. So it's a really secure way to remotely control our pump. So we're looking at the web app. I'm looking at a summary view for this per particular pump. This is a chemical injection pump controlling corrosion inhibitor injection. And we're gonna just kind of come over to this control tab and you can see I have this injection rate set point. Right now the pump is off. You'll see that the LED is off. Now if I just go in here, I click injection rate set point and I'm gonna set it to 25 gallons per day. Click send, submit that. And what you're gonna see is this audit log of us changing the set point. And I look at my connect, sure enough, it's controlling that pump with the same about 50% duty cycle, which is exactly what we wanna see. So this is pretty cool. I know my laptop's right next to me, but what happened was I sent a command all the way to that pump, no matter where it was in the world, through the internet, securely, to turn this pump on the way that I wanted it. Now, what I just showed you is how to control a DC single speed pump, like a chemical injection pump, using the field app or using the web app. Now, what if I wanted to control a different kind of pump, like an AC pump or a variable speed drive pump? So the nice thing about the WellAware Connect is that I can control any kind of pump without needing to know what kind of pump it is. So when I swap out the hardware module in here based on what is needed at the time of install, whether that's a DC solid state relay, an AC solid state relay, a variable speed drive controller, or even a mod bus or some other kind of controller to interact with a controller that's already on site. Once that's set up, I don't have to worry about any of that. The application on the WellAware Field app and on the WellAware web app looks exactly the same. 
I tell the pump what I want it to do and it obeys. And that's what makes the Wellware platform so cool is I can control any kind of pump with any configuration and I don't have to worry about the technical details. I just get it set up and all of a sudden I have access to all these pump diagnostics and remote control through the field app and through the web app. So that concludes today's episode. We remotely controlled a pump using a phone and using a computer. Next week, we're gonna talk about how we would automate a pump to control its output based on external inputs like sensors. So first of all, subscribe to the channel and then check us out next week as we talk about pump automation.